mount. First thing I'm going to show you really quick is how this works. It's pretty simple. Uh, to move these and move them wherever you want, you pick up on it, pull the bottom out, and then drop the top down, and it'll come out. Um, and then to put it back, you tip it forward. You can see there's a, actually a tooth here in these that have to engage. So you push that in, slide the bottom down, pull it down, locks on. This guy right here, which is the wheel on stabilizer, um, to stow it out of the way, you can do it like this. And then the same thing to uh, hook it on, front end, lift up, and down. So now I'll go ahead and put a bike on here. Get this out of the way. Got a mountain bike here, two and a quarter inch wide tires. Um, best way to do it is lift it up, slide the bike to the side, come down. I like to wash the spoke, keep the spoke away. Drop it down, good to hang. And then what the stabilizer does is keeps the swaying action from happening. If you take the stabilizer, hook it on as close as you can to the wheel. Seems like it's gonna be right here. There's a Velcro strap. Do the Velcro strap. Around the tire, like so. We hook the Velcro, and I can see how solid that is. It's not going to go anywhere. And then to remove it, just opposite. Take the Velcro, take it off. Remove the mount, stabilize the mount. Go ahead and stow it away. Go hit the trail. All right, we're gonna do another wheel on fat bike mount. Uh, I'm gonna do the fat bike over here, so I'm gonna show you just, which is cool about the system. You can put anything wherever you want, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way. This here. Go ahead and hang this here. And grab the fat tire mount here. here and grab the fat bike here up. Now this bike right here is probably the heaviest bike I own it's, it is a beast. 40 pounds, so it's a lot of weight, but it shows you how easy to get, it is to get these bikes up here. It's not bad at all. Go ahead and put the stabilizer on there. Bring the bike tire over. Velcro. Tighten it right, right up. Sometimes you might have to adjust this so you get good purchase with the Velcro. Go ahead and Velcro it. Solid. Good to go. Now to go over our most secure mount. This is the wheel off mount. Connects right to the bike. This is what I would go with on long traveling, bumpy travels. Uh, I'll show you how this works. Same thing, lift up. Pull the bottom out, remove it. And make room wherever you can. bike to this guy. Uh, there's two different sizes in here. There's 100 millimeter, which is going to fit most of your bikes. Um, it's double, so you got the quick release, and then you have a maxle um, spot right here. And then the other size we have is the 130, and that's going to do uh, your fat bikes, basically. So this guy will do 75% you know, of the bikes out there, even boost. It'll fit through here because it's a maxle. So we, your fork may be a little wider, but your max will go right through there and cover it. So we'll go ahead and stick my road bike on here. I'll show you how this works. This is a quick release. Go ahead and take this off. 
I like to do this. I do these on the floor, um, and then hang it up afterwards. It's just it seems to be the easiest way to get them out. Let's go ahead. Go ahead and crank the lever down, grab the bike, go over to the spot where you're going to hang it, and you can go ahead and just turn that to get your front end, bottom end, slide down, like so. Then you can take the tire, go ahead. All right, now we'll do one more uh, wheel off system. We'll do a, a maxle just to show you how that goes together. So same thing, lay it on the floor, grab your bike. This accessory is called the workstation. Um, basically, it holds your bike cross tube right here, allows you to work on it, uh, change your tires or lube your chain up, whatever you gotta do. It also is nice while you're in the trailer. If you're swapping bikes on and off the wall, instead of just leaning one against the wall, you can kind of prop it up here while you're grabbing the next one. Um, it's got a stowaway hook. So just hook it on here. You're not running into it when you walk by. And of course, to Go ahead and put it on, you slide the front teeth in, lift it up, push the unit all the way up, drop the bottom teeth in, and push down. The smaller bikes like this guy right here, it's flexible enough where you can go ahead and put the back tube on, just take this, squeeze a little bit, slide it right in there, work on the bike, do whatever you gotta do. As far as the larger bikes go, go. This guy right here is called the six pack. Hold your water bottles. You don't have water bottles everywhere like I do. Um, same thing. Move it wherever you want. Throw your water, water bottles in there. Tall cup of coffee, beverage. Nice place to, to keep that. This unit we call the five hook. Move it wherever you want. Once again, very handy. Um, hang your clothes on there, wet clothes, dog leash, your keys. Uh, in this case, um, we've got some of these great scout tools that we make. Um, I also have a video on this on how this works, but this is a pretty sweet tool. Hang that on there, but a nice handy, handy way to raise your gear. This mount is called the gas station. Great place to keep your CO2. Um, the 50 ounce, the large bottles will fit in here. 
as well as your 16 and your 20s, I believe they are, will fit in all these holes. It also can double as a tool holder. You can throw screwdrivers in here or anything else. Um, that will, will be handy. Go ahead and slide it in there. This little guy right here is the table. Um, it's got storage teeth on it, so you can store it flat. This, this is great for, you know, if you're gonna eat some lunch or you're working on your bike, you can hook this anywhere you want in the trailer. Um, pretty simple to use, just a couple of teeth. Push down, locked, good to go. This little guy right here is called the recycler. Um, takes any of your kitchen garbage bags. Um, basically clear your garbage bag through, figure eight your, your um, straps, and they lock right on here. And it's not going anywhere. Keeps it nice and tight. Another thing, if you're out riding and having a picnic, Put this right by your table here. And have a place for all your empties. This little guy right here, it's called the hot box. Um, little storage box. It has a lid here that you can use um, as a tray. Um, you pull up on this guy like that, gain access. You can keep your tubes, tools, sealant, gummy bears, whatever you want, put right in there. This guy right here will hook on the front and act as a tray while you're working on your bike or whatever. You can also use this anywhere else you want in the trailer on any of the slides right in as a tray. Um, and then to go ahead and cap it off, you just push it back like that and push down on it. Good to go. This is the kit keeper. Um, a place to put all your, your, your riding gear, your wearables. Uh, you can put it anywhere on the wall rail, lift it up, take it off. Um, basically, you got a spot for your wet, sweaty kit when you're done riding, or a place to keep your freshly clean laundered set. Throw your shoes up here, throw your glasses in, lock one side, keep them, keep them there for good. Throw your rad helmet over. You can lock it if you want to keep it locked down. And uh, yeah, everything's there. Grab it and go. This accessory right here, pumped. Um, it basically holds your pump. Um, it also will hold brooms or anything else you decide to put on. But great place to keep your uh, floor pump. You know where it's at. You're not tripping over it. And Everyone likes to pump up the tires. All right, we have two different auxiliary hangers. We've got a single hole, lift it up, pull it out, move it wherever you want. These are cool for if you got tie down straps, you want, you can hook your helmet on there or, you know, just a single hanger, anything you want. They're, they're, they come in handy. So that style, and then we also have a five hole auxiliary hanger. And this is very nice for when you're traveling, um, you can hang up all your clothes instead of stuffing everything in a bag um, and having to dig through it, especially if you're kind of living out of this adventure hub, as we like to call them. And it just simply hangs on like that and place for all your, your shirts. These little guys are called the gondola. They're pretty sweet. Uh, holders. No one likes putting their skis in the corner, getting them kicked around or having them run over by somebody. So the way these work is you just take your ski, downhill or your cross country ski. Um, it's best to have them velcroed at all times to secure them anyway. Go ahead and slide that in. And then the guys on the side will hold your poles. Pretty simple, the gondola.